but what you left for us to explore is so enormous mm. and we're going to see the exhibition a mm. couple of times. Yeah, we've been there. You haven't seen it yet. We have seen oh, it. We have yeah. Seen yeah. It. I, I, we have been uh, at, at the opening. Uh -huh. we, we've yeah. also been now at the tell opening. me, what, you, what did you think of it? It was very, very nicely put together. I mean, uh, to select the best work out of so many individual objects yeah. is very, very hard. But yeah. the job was really nicely done. Yeah, we all and feel that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because Sir Christopher railing here, you know, who used to be uh, at the Royal College of Art, the, the big mm. white chief. Oh. Well, I used to get Ken to come and lecture to the students, the lucky yeah. students, yeah. the design students, oh. yeah. architecture, uh, car design, yeah. uh, product design, and it was a great the highlight of the year was Ken arriving and giving his lecture. And, uh, we showed some of your home movies, do you remember, of uh, the building of the volcano and things, and uh, we had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And that's how the book came about. Uh, we started talking together and then the interview turned into a big conversation then eventually it couldn't stop talking, could we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. 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 Interesting. So often interesting how our book comes into the world. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 It's amazing. And I also feel that uh, people don't know enough about production design. Mm -hmm. That they know about directors and actors and stars and even cinematographers but production designers have never understood so part of this was to say come on let's but, but, let's hear it for production design yeah. production design yeah. is uh, the film is what you see is yeah. the production design yeah. what what, uh, what the designer has chosen yeah. how, how the world looks in yeah. this film the visual experience yeah, yeah. yeah no exactly and, uh, and i always remember that not the words you know and, uh, so part of this was to say well uh, Let's have a, a book about a, a great production design. Yeah. 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 And today it's, it's sort of a lost art because these big sets are not built anymore. It's no, made it's all CGI. And mm. it's all CGI. Yeah. Yeah. I know. It's In fact, I was watching uh, You Only Live Twice with Ken once, and when those people abseiled down in the volcano, uh, it's because it's real, yeah. Yeah. it really makes you tense. Yeah. Yeah. God, that's dangerous. Yeah. And today, when they can do anything, yeah. It's millions of, yeah, of yeah, uh, yeah. hobbits. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Orcs, it's just you don't believe it. Yeah, no. No. But with Works, yours, you really believe. Yeah. You know, I thought it's so different. And that's the, yeah. the extraordinary yeah. thing is watching Bond films with people who have no connection to the Bond films, non fans, when they say, Oh, did they really just do that? And I said, That's the Bond films. Yeah. They do it for real, they yeah. built it for real. Yeah. It is not CGI. This was the 60s. Yeah. Yeah. They did it for real, and yeah. that is the incredible thing, which they still do today in the Bond films. They try to yeah. do as much on location as possible, yeah. and when they have the opportunity to build a big set in Pinewood, then they do it. Yeah. Of course, a few tricks here and there with CGI, mm -hmm. but they know the fans don't like it, yeah. because we have that input from you. We have the, the, the images from the 60s and yeah. 70s. But, uh, but, but, but this is, Ken had a very interesting example of this. Uh, one of the most recent things he's done was the video game, Goldeneye, yes. Rogue Agent, I played that. Yeah. and uh, all the greatest hits of his sets and all the rest of it, yeah. and he did Fort Knox, yes. and he wanted the gold piled up, yeah. and the computer people came back and said, we can't do gold, they couldn't do the color, so they put the gold in crates in that game, True. Yeah. you can't see the gold. Yeah. So sometimes the computer can't do something yeah. uh, in those days, yeah. which uh, uh, was looks great. I was curious, you know, yeah. when mm. Los Angeles, I went, uh, it was very impressive to see while they were working and so on. And uh, they used to send me like uh, rushes, mm -hmm. and I could never see uh, Gold. I mean, Fort Knox, the idea was to see gold up to the <laughs> heavens. Yes, you know, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> in this big computer, you know. They couldn't do it. No, it, they it couldn't do it. They had gold in boxes, mm -hmm. and uh, of, of wooden boxes, mm -hmm. and the planks were not completely tight, so yeah. you could see. Little bits of yellow, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But I mean, it was a cheat, and I told them so. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I remember I played the game, um, and 
I died constantly from <laughs> enemy fire <laughs> because I was looking at the game design. Mm. Yeah. I was looking around and when there were no enemies coming, there were sort of breaks in between. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was one, I think it was Dr. No's Island. Mm -hmm. And you could look through a window which was made out of rock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I just stood there and looked through it. But I like to do that in game worlds, but you have to die a lot. <laughs> yeah. But I think it was very nicely done and the game was underrated. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't sell well, but to fans who um, appreciate the design, yeah. they are playing in. That's good. You visited some of your great. You did the volcano, didn't you? Yeah. You did yeah. the crab key. Yes. Uh, you did Honor Majesty's Secret Service, actually, in mm. the Alps. Yeah. Uh, well, I did. Uh, yeah. No, no, but in the game. In the game. Uh, in the game. You, yeah, had the, you had the headquarters on the yeah. Alps, do you remember? Yeah. Oh, that's oh, the yeah. new one, yeah. 007 yeah. Legends, yeah. I think, yeah. yeah. Mm. And, and yeah. also um, Atlantis. Mm -hmm. yeah. did. So it was all your greatest hits, you know, yeah. coming back. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And they che do you remember they very cheekily put in a table with some maps from Strangelove without you knowing? You know, in the same game, they put really? in an extra... Yeah, yeah, I remember you saying when you saw it. Oh, yeah. cheeky, cheeky. <laughs> oh, yes, I think I know yeah. what, what table that is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's in Goldfinger's office. With, yeah, that's and, it. and it was all modernized. That's right. And so yeah. the that's game right. design was very modern, yeah. but still grand, high rooms yeah. and yeah. large windows. Yeah. So what you imagine a villain would have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And exactly. That's why these games work well for fans because they they can play in this world yeah. but the, the rest is the level design when the when the game has no value in the because the actors looked different mm -hmm. and the voices were different mm -hmm. but um, we fans get anything I always say when there's bond on it there's bond in it yeah. so yeah. you get it anyway yeah, yeah, sure. uh, but yeah. it is hard to cross that line between the past and the present, not make it too modern, mm. stay true to the original uh, standards that people like you set. Mm. And that is very important. There's a very nice moment in Skyfall, do you remember when, um, towards the end, just before they went to Scotland, oh. yeah. where Bond went to the garage and bought out the Aston, and they yeah. played the Bond theme for the yeah. first time yeah. in yeah. Lindon. Yeah. It's a very good moment, I yeah. think. <laughs> It was really good. Hom homage to Cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big yeah. homage, yeah. 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 You've yeah. seen yeah, Skyfall yeah. 2? Hmm? You've seen Skyfall 2, the latest no. Bond film? No. Did you, yes, you saw Skyfall. Yes, I thought. I, I, yeah. No, not, I, I, I thought you meant the latest. Yeah, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. no. Yeah. You thought it was much better than uh, Quantum of Solace yeah. and, and, and Casino Royale, yeah. didn't you? Uh, he, he liked it better than the yeah. previous two uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Craig ones. Yeah. And uh, the strange thing is, uh, I invited uh, Barbara Broccoli to come here mm -hmm. to look at um, the exhibition. Yeah, and she was. She right. was there. Yeah. As, as we have been at, at the opening, and we have they have told uh, Mr. Rota I think yeah. told mm -hmm. that she was there and had a view to the exhibition. Yeah. And yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. And they have a very nice interview with Barbara and Michael and, G mm -hmm. oh in, the, in the exhibition, oh, I yes. talking about you, oh, that's uh, good. Yeah. Yeah. which is nice. Yeah. Yeah. But I thought, uh, and I brought uh, Christopher Prailing, I invited me here because I wanted him hmm. to look at the exhibition. They've done a very good job, Ken. Mm -hmm. yes. And he was very, very impressed. I'm yes. very impressed. Yeah. I like the way that instead of telling the story chronologically, yeah. they took themes, in yeah. circles, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. cathedrals, uh, yeah. uh, things that you keep coming back to yeah. so you can have lots of films within these themes mm. I thought that was very clever because yeah. usually it's we start in 1920s we go through mm. 30s 40s 50s and, and it's yeah. a bit dull sometimes you know but yeah. this was clever yeah, yeah. You, you stay in a mood yeah. you're not yeah. Yeah. taken out of it yeah. and then you have to start somewhere yeah. else again and yeah. you can you compare across exactly yeah, area, yeah. that was nice, very good I yeah it's good clever. I think uh, I really do think <coughs> because he was also one of my uh, discoveries but that Boris is one of the most talented yeah. I love that film you made. didn't you love that film you made at the beginning of the exhibition yeah. where Kent smoking his cigar yeah. and he's drawing the war room and yeah. the it's smoke makes the brilliant evaporate yeah. oh, it was great very, very good. Yeah. I couldn't believe you know that 
they made me smoke a phone. Ken, Ken gave up four years ago, so he had to. <laughs> ah, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they had to make you do it cigar. Yeah. Yeah. But it looks convincing. It is absolutely convincing. Yeah, the video yeah. was great. Mm. Yeah, and when you stand in front of it, it is, it is so, uh, because it's like, it's like a little cinema. Yeah. And you can almost touch it. Mm. And, yeah. and, and it shows you how this design comes to life. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And, mm. and that drawings. is very important. And yeah. while you're talking, the different strokes yeah. of the yeah. master pen. Yeah. 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 Because, because, because one of Ken's trademarks is this special kind of pen, you know, yes. this flow master, yeah. which has a very broad nib. Mm. So you do these the transparent lines. Yeah. So yeah, the like ink. The light. Yeah. 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 The ink yeah. It was a brilliant idea, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. But then, then the uh, American uh, government, or whoever it yeah. was, decided it was. A poison. Toxic, yeah. yeah. So Toxic. they're illegal mm. now. Flowmaster is illegal in case, okay. yeah. in case children suck them. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. the ink is a little bit toxic. So yeah. it's there, mm. there. But when Ken, there was an exhibition in London, not so good as this, yeah. a few mm. years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, on the first night, they, they managed to get a box of Flowmaster pens mm -hmm. to present it to Ken. Oh, yeah. oh right. Yeah. Because yeah. Of the, yeah. I think they're, they're the only yeah. 10 Flowmasters in the world, probably. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Very nice. They managed to find them. Yeah. It was just right for me, mm -hmm. you know, because I had a problem uh, which I'm sure I had nothing to do with family and uh, upbringing and so on, to express myself. Mm -hmm. Because I remember an uncle of mine who thought he was an uh, artist, mm -hmm. <coughs> he really was. But I showed him one of my first paintings, which was a, uh, a stag mm -hmm. in Scotland, uh, mm -hmm. and he said in German, you mm -hmm. mean, "Es sieht aus wie ich Pinat mit Ei," and <coughs> that affected me so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, yeah. That then I went into a period of, of copying, you know, mm. and uh, I never forgot that. No. And in your early drawings, they're very tight, yeah. very engineering, technical, yeah. Yeah. and then suddenly, around about 1957, you discover the flow and they go, yeah. they start yeah. really, yeah. and you can see it happen in the exhibition. You, know, yeah. 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 you, you suddenly get confidence, yeah. Yeah. And, it, and, it, mm. and they get yeah. big and gestures yeah. and all this. Yeah. Yeah. It's and about 1957. So much yeah. You know, because yeah. you cut your own nip, mm -hmm. and the mm. nip is like, a, a, my paper nip was like a T, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so that you put that vertical thing into the floor mat and you have the horizontal part of mm -hmm. the T, mm -hmm. and it allowed me to do all sorts of things, like when you are on the edge, mm -hmm. you do very fine lines, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and you the pressure of your hand mm -hmm. makes a difference. But then, when you go a little round, the lines become wider. Yes. And you can, at the same time, mm -hmm. put um, uh, atmosphere in yeah. uh, and light. And yeah, light. Li light. Because you light can see it. through the ink, and it's really yeah. important. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like it's almost as if <coughs> you're not just designing the sets, but the way they should be lit. Yeah. Yeah. It's in yeah. the drawings. Yeah. 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 Best yeah. example is the, the, the Moonraker launch pad. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Captures that very well. Yeah. I know. Ken, that's such a mad idea of yours. You know, in the exhibition, the um, where you have a committee room underneath the, mm. the uh, exhaust uh, place for the. I mean, that's a great place for a meeting, Ken. You know, yeah. these bloody great yeah. things. You know, the exhaust Definitely. coming out of this missile. You know, let's yeah. have a meeting. Yeah. But it works. Yeah. 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 And this was also <laughs> rebuilt for a Bond game, very early, oh, yes. for, for one of the consoles, yeah. uh, and, and that is still the number one game where everything is measured on, mm -hmm. and there is this exhaust chamber and you're looking up to it and it's open, mm -hmm. and you know what is going to happen oh, when yes. you go in there, <laughs> and automatically the door closes and you're trapped, and then you have to find your fight your way out of it. Mm -hmm. So they make a thing of that. That's yes, and uh, with very old graphics, but still, mm -hmm. you realize where you are. And 
that was a chance for us to put us in the Bond universe mm. yeah. and yeah. walk through that. And when uh, graphics in computers advance, you can make it look more realistic. Mm. And that was really the great thing, re-exploring mm. this all over again, all the time. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And all working 24 hours a day, yeah, and then getting were. fired. And it was an incredible atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. Well, and uh, they went part of the union. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And. Uh, Big turnover of stuff. They were working day and night, yeah. and you know, people over there, uh, so called yeah, producers, are, are completely ruthless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they didn't need them anymore. Yeah. Now, yeah. You yeah. know. Yeah. 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 And there were some very, very talented guys there. Mm. Yeah. And I used to, sp I, I remember I was still smoking cigars, but I wasn't allowed to smoke <laughs> inside. So. In lunch time, we used to meet outside, and everybody <laughs> would smoke cigars, and, <laughs> and we had great meetings, you know. Uh, the cigar was just uh, the cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But it, but it, but it was you who um, who taught Stanley Kubrick to smoke cigars. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. He never smoked cigars before he met Ken. <laughs> <laughs> and then you see him smoking, but he gave up quite quickly. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> he didn't like it. <laughs> Just for about two he or three years, all these photos of Kubrick yeah. with a cigar. Yeah. Yeah. And then suddenly, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. 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 he started with the big one and then went smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Until they were that, yeah. And, and I mean, the, the one, oh, because he was an actor, and a good actor, Sterling Hayes, mm. yeah. with that enormous yes, cigar. Yes, yes, yes. That's a wonderful scene. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that's a great scene. From below, with yeah, the yeah. smoke. Yeah. 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 So how long are you staying in Berlin for the entire film fest? Or yeah, I don't think so. No, you're here for the whole film fest till next weekend. Yeah? Okay, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. May. Yeah. Yeah. It depends if I have any more sleepless nights. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I hope so. That's <laughs> I hope that gets better. better, yeah. On the 28th, uh, we have uh, our club meeting here in, in, in Berlin. Oh, really? Uh, just some of the club members coming together. Mm -hmm. And we talk about this, uh, the 2015, what we're going to do, and right. then we're going to take everybody who is interested into the exhibition as well. That's okay. our start, oh, into the, yeah. start into the day before yeah. we get into the meetings. We have a stroll through the exhibition, and yeah. it's a nice That's place right. to meet and yeah. um, okay. give yeah. people who have uh, no connection. We as a club, we can introduce them to that and say have a look at that it's interesting oh, and right. we get a group tour I think yeah, we have a together group tour. yeah we have a, a curator tour yeah. yes curator you yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah great yeah. That's so oh, that's wonderful yeah and is it the anniversary of Thunderball next year uh, this, uh, year, this, year, actually. this year actually yeah, yeah. yeah. this and year we actually. have um, uh, we have uh, um, a club uh, event in, in, in the summer yeah in, in June we are going to Paris to Chateau d'Anne uh -huh. where, where they have filmed the pre time the yeah. yes, yes, yes. with mm. the jetpack. And There's a yeah. jetpack, yeah. 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 And, yeah. Um, <laughs> and, we want and we will also uh, look at the other uh, castles. Um, and also in Thunderbolt, in the entrance mm. to, yeah. uh, mm. to, to Spectre, mm. where they, they go in through mm -hmm. that street in yeah. Paris. Yeah. Yeah, you mm. have been there. I have been there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Universal, yeah. whatever it was. Yeah, we have been there. I don't remember that. Don't you remember? It was um, who was the Italian actor? The, the um, Adolfo oh, yeah. Adolfo Celli. Adolfo Celli. Adolfo Celli. Parks his car, goes through the door. Oh, and yeah. It's like a refugee centre. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. And then behind it is your yeah, famous, yeah. your famous committee room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Spectre. Yeah. Spectre. yeah. I forgot about that. That's in near the centre of Paris, I think. Yeah, it's the centre. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, and you have um, a direct view to the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. you have to have that, you see, in a bomb film. Yeah. You have to know where you are. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> well, in Paris, it's the centre for several films. A View to a Kill was made there as well. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But nice. I mean, they made how sophisticated uh, our hosts are, you know, <laughs> because you don't know, no, at least I have not normally found, you know, when we were yeah, in yeah. other countries. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, that uh, people who are working on 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 clubs and so on are that sophisticated, but you are. No, no, they know everything. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well, we worked years for that. Well, we just it was newly founded uh, in in April last year. April last year. So, because we have a lot of people who have exactly that.
but they're scattered around Germany mm -hmm. and we thought of a way of bringing them together, combining this knowledge yeah. Yeah. and thereby preserving the history of Bond for yeah. future generations. Sure, yeah. Because when, <coughs> when we're gone or when we're old and we want to retire from that, I mean, we have regular jobs as well. Yeah. And <laughs> to, to it's just a hobby, but of course, yeah. of course. But it's and a big hobby. Probably. Yeah, not many people can work full time on uh, yeah. Bond yeah. archives. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. And I'm working on my film too, so I have three areas oh, yeah. to work with. Mm -hmm. and, um, but it's all for one purpose, to preserve the history of Bond so that it has another 50 years to live. Yeah. 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 And I think that's going to happen. 2065, yeah. 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 we're going to be there as old men watching the, I don't know, 50th Bond film or what? 2065. 2065. I'm 103. I'm 80. That's it, that's it. Well, stay healthy then. I'm 80. I'm 80 then. I could barely make it. No. It's very no funny. age. Because, uh, <laughs> no age. Uh, I, I chaired the, uh, uh, the British Arts Council yeah. uh, for a time. And I always used to think of that scene in Thunderball. When I had a really difficult meeting and they're all sitting around a table in their leather chairs, I just wished I had a button like that. <laughs> yes. Unanimous then. Yeah. 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 But unfortunately, I didn't have such a button. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But that's a great scene, Ken, with the table. It is. Yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah. great committee meeting. It's yeah. yeah. fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't see Blo Blofeld's face. No. You no. Don't. no. no. Just his cat. No. Yeah. And I think in the, in the new film, uh, they are going back to that. There will, really? be, yeah. there will be a similar scene like that, yeah. uh, but not with such a room. They, of course, have to do it different. Yeah. And they reintroduce Spectre, so they have to do something new yeah. uh, yeah. to make it interesting for the younger generations. Yeah. Because uh, Daniel Craig attracts a totally different kind of uh, viewer, oh, yeah. of cinema goer. Yeah. So we are you the old guard. Papa? No, would love to. When we left yeah. from Berlin, when we left the press conference, mm. uh, she was entering the building, uh, and we, really? yeah, yeah, and I was taking a Norwegian uh, yeah. friend to Checkpoint Charlie and everything. Uh, uh, if we would have stayed, we would have met her. Uh, yeah. 